Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we're taking a look at the tool called ED Profiler, which was created by the widely known Dr. Kai. The tool has a number of features, many of which are extremely useful. In addition to building profiles for graphical settings, it also allows you to set custom colors for the UI, set your own tone maps, and perhaps most useful of all, it has a bunch of login features, and more of that in just a bit. So the Elite Dangerous footage you saw in the background a moment ago was highlighting the tone map changes, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Here we can see ED Profiler tool, and a quick bit of background here for those of you who may not know. Dr. Kai was one of the key organizers of the 2016 Distant Worlds expedition, which to this day is one of, if not the, most successful player-run event for the game. He also has been very involved with the Elite Dangerous community for a long time, and has an active YouTube channel. Onto the tool itself then, at the top we have a created profile, and you can create many more of these, and easily switch between them. Much of the rest of the interface is set aside for graphical functions, and a lot of these you will notice are available directly in the game. The advantage of ED Profiler though, is that you can very easily and very quickly switch between these various graphical settings. This will be useful, for example, when wanting to switch between VR setup and a monitor setup. There will also be many other times that you may want to switch between different profiles as well, such as when streaming, or when using different graphical quality depending on where you are actually playing within the game, for example up in space, or down on planetary services. Now there's also an extra settings here, or an extra settings option, which allows you to change graphical settings that are not available from within the game. These include things such as planetary texture quality, galaxy map settings or galaxy map details, and skybox settings. Now, whilst I won't go into detail on these in this video, as there are far too many of them, they are certainly worth experimenting with, and you can very quickly get some spectacular results. Here's an example of an Earth-like world where I had greatly increased the surface quality. Let's take a look then at the tone mapping feature. This one is really great and easily my personal favourite graphical option within the tool. So essentially, tone mapping is a visual manipulation feature that allows you to increase or decrease vibrancy, contrast and colour tones. For example, you can make the dark areas darker whilst at the same time making the bright areas brighter. You've no doubt been in areas of space where you felt the colour tones were off and maybe space was a bit too bright or otherwise perhaps too dark. Now you can easily fix that. The preview images allow you to see the effects of your settings, and there are also a few presets built into the tool. Some of them are actually rather wild. But let's again take a look at the footage comparing three different settings here. You can see one on the left is the default settings. The one on the bottom right is another preset. I think this one was Dr. Kai's very own preset, and you can see the colors are a little bit darker. Now up in the top right is a custom profile that I made, and this really brings out some of the colours, although you do lose a little bit of the darkness, and again, you could feel free to totally experiment with that, bring up the brightness while still retain some of the darkness from the other examples here, and you can see also how it affects from within the cockpit as well. Now one of the things I'm asked most often in my video comment section is how I change my HUD colours. Well, if you're on PC, you can now do that with the ED Profiler tool by using the HUD Colors Editor. There's a whole load of presets built in, and a lot of these have a very many different colors, from reds to yellows to whites to blues, just about anything you can actually imagine. But you can also customize your own settings. Now, the preview window will let you see exactly what you've changed, and it will also let you know if you've taken things a bit too far and therefore messed up the avatar screens that are displayed in various areas throughout the game. Creating HUD colors is certainly very flexible, and you can very quickly create a custom setting for yourself. One of the newest features of ED Profiler are the login abilities. And these not only allow you to capture chat in real time, allowing you to export the chat from out of the game, but also allow you to create expedition logs as well as great visual reference guides for your discoveries. Looking at chat logs here, you can see there's two main features. Firstly, the ability to monitor chat in real time, and secondly, the ability to retrieve historical chat records. The other login feature is Commander Logs, 
And this is a very nice uh, ability as it tracks your current location within the game and provides this as a text log. You can also add screenshots to this and any time you capture a screenshot from within the game, it's automatically captured from inside the commander's log. You can then format this in a variety of ways. What's great about this feature is that it acts as a very nice bookmarking function, allowing you to not only track the current system you are in, but also to capture a visual reference of any inspiring vistas or scenes you've located, something that, and the dangerous itself, is sorely lacking from within the game. ED Profiler then is a rapidly growing tool to which Dr. Kai continues to add many features. The tool is available from the link in the video description and it's a tool I'm certainly happy to recommend. Also, if you want tutorials for the tool, then those are available on Dr. Kai's YouTube channel, also linked below. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to direct them towards Dr. Kai as he is always very happy to answer. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.